Yo, what's up, everybody? Back with another video. And this was like on a Spurge video that I really wasn't going to do. So let me take you back to a far distant time. Early on January 1st, about 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I started getting text messages or messages on Instagram. So somebody heard that I had a box of uh, Heritage High numbers still left. Oh, they wanted it pretty bad because every 10 minutes he kept hitting my phone up. So finally, you know, about 9 o'clock, because I just turned my phone off, I decided that, oh, let me respond back. I'm like, yeah, I got one box. Told him if you're going to pay by PayPal, uh, you got to cover the fees for the price and all that stuff. He's like, oh, that's fine, that's fine. So I shoot the price over. He's like, oh, man, can you invoice me? And I'm like, okay, great. So. Anyhow, I go down, I go down, get the invoice done on PayPal, send out to this guy. Sent him about four messages, 15 minutes apart since he wanted to ping me every 10. You know, he really wanted this box. And I guess I was probably the lowest person around anyhow onto the price. Finally, he's like, oh, man, yeah, yeah, I was uh, eating breakfast with my fam. The way he said his fam. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, I, I just paid. All right. So I confirmed the address and everything, and I said, all right, man, appreciate it. Uh, I don't want to pull up the messages and stuff onto here. I don't think the dude's a scammer or nothing, but I was like, uh, so appreciate it. I said, uh, I'm going to enjoy my day this evening uh, as I roll into 2021 with the new books and everything. I said, I'll get you tracking and everything. Probably be around 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I said, also, you should get an email to the address that's associated with your PayPal. I said, oh, cool, I know how this works. Oh, good, man. I said, well, to go out in the mail tomorrow, uh, priority, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so, anyhow, I just see Cobra Kai 3. Everybody knows Cobra Kai 3, is, or Season 3, is now out. Phenomenal. I think it's only half a season out so far. So, I watched it, and I was like, man, dog wasn't feeling too good. She had something wrong with her stomach. So, I'm like, hey, let's go take a nap. You know, I'm off today. What the heck? So, I left my phone uh, out in the living room, and I went in the bedroom, right? So, about two, maybe three hours, somewhere in there. This is no joke. When I came back over to my phone, because I seen, like, my mom texted me and said that I had 14 Instagram messages. I'm like, what the heck? So, of course, I look, I figured, oh, this guy wants me to ship to another address, which ain't gonna happen. It has to be a PayPal associated address. Yeah, he basically wanted to back out of the deal, long story short. And uh, he was like, oh, I didn't realize these boxes only had Lewis Robert into them, and the autos are like one per case, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right, he wanted a refund, basically. And he was like, you're not responding to my messages. I need my money back now, all this stuff. So I sat there, and I was like, dude, I, I said nice, but I was like, a federal holiday i said my shop is closed i was kind enough to answer your message then send you a invoice that you requested say you just sent me paypal and services because you could put notes in goods and services it's not going to flag your account you can't put notes in friends and family i repeat you could put you can c-a-n put notes in goods and services you cannot do that with friends and family so many people have that confused um, so pretty much I, I just laid it all out and everything. I was like, dude, I just refund your money. Good luck, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, yeah, I wasn't calling you a scammer and stuff. You should have seen it. I was like, I didn't say I was scamming you. I said, but I, people have things they do on New Year's. I said, you know, if my grandma was still alive, it was her birthday. I'd have been at her birthday party celebrating 90-some years. You know, it was just a point to somebody that you might not always, uh, Get somebody, and if you get somebody in a federal holiday where you know they're probably not working, be great. Be very grateful to you know doing something like this because you know I I didn't have to today. I did not have to do that. But anyhow, so I was sitting here, um, got done watching Cobra Kai three, Eddie, and all that stuff. When I was watching the break cast, whatever you guys do, don't get into break kings. The worst product I've ever seen. I don't care if they guarantee you a Kobe rookie card per case. They're like fucking PSA 8s and BGS 8s. They're garbage. So anyhow, I'm opening up. I'm like, ah, oh, cool, you know. 
I de pulled. Let me show you guys here. It's pretty much the order it went in. So I pulled this Lou Bob. It'll be up for auction, but I'll tell you now there's a line that goes down like that. So some Lou Bob person that wants it doesn't want to buy Heritage. Where to go here? So I pull this. This is the first thing. Chris Bryant patch card. So you know it's supposed to be one or the other per box. I'll keep flying through. And all of a sudden I come to a sideways card. By the power of Grayskull. It's in plastic. Hand numbered. One of 25. Soto and Akuna. Woo! Yeah, that's my Rick impersonation. And this picture, by the time this video posts, is already going to be on Instagram to say to just point out to that guy, you should have took the box. Yeah. That's a nice card. So, I was sitting there trying to figure out a price on this. I'm going to get on the stand here real quick. I'll tilt the old camera down. So, I was like sitting there guessing at a price of this thing. Let me get a focus on to it. Kind of hard plastic on plastic. And I figured it's like a $400 card probably, you know, roughly, because it's a hard hit in this product. There's one with three days left at $610. <coughs> Insane. But for Mr. Impatient all day long, bugging me about a box of cards, I go out my way to get everything done because he just couldn't send PayPal. I did a proper invoice and all this stuff out to him. Yep, this is me. I am styling. I am profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss still and willing and dealing, son of a gun. Boom! And I ain't mad, it just so everybody knows, I am far from being mad, but I just wanted to do that because it felt good. It felt good. Because all that effort it went in to push out a box of cards is basically like 30 bucks under cost anywhere. And then all of a sudden your phone has umpteen messages on there every like 10 minutes. Oh man, I'm getting worried I ain't hearing from you. Where are you at, man? What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I know you're out trying to spend me, but I need to get my money back, like, right now. It was like one of them insurance commercials. I want my money, and I want it now. Bro, chill. But I'm telling you what, this is going up on Instagram, and I'm going to do probably into it. I haven't decided yet. But, I mean, it's just people like that that back out of deals, I don't really mind so much. It's you blowing me up. On a day off on a federal holiday, which I do not work. And even my Facebook business page states that. So basically, I'm just going to tell you, uh, I don't know who, who heard that I had these boxes. It wasn't really posted anywhere, but he probably found it somewhere off my Facebook business page. According to his message, if you look, I didn't even open the Sundays, I think, till like 5 p.m. or noon. I forget what I had the time on. It's like later in the day. So, I mean... Just for somebody to go out of their way to help you out and get you a box and say, here you go, and then you request more and more and more and blow somebody up. Booyah! Tuna Soto out of 25. It's not just out of 25. It's the eBay 101, number one out of 25. The very first one they both signed. I don't know. That's just the way people like to pump their cards up. But anyhow, I figured I'd share this uh, story with everybody. Really, really interesting story. Um, kind of took a new leaf this year with some uh, different things with the New Year's resolutions and game plan that I set for. From now on, when I start seeing uh, people giving out wrong information and they're just not doing their research and stuff, you will probably see a comment in the chat from me on to it. It's a set you right. Um, I'm not gonna let everybody go out there that's watching videos anymore start getting wrong information and blowing my emails up nonstop. And I it's it, I don't mind somebody saying check this video out and stuff like that. Cool. But man, it, this is no joke. I get probably five to ten emails a day from people I don't even ever talk to, email, you know, like I don't even know who they are. Some of you guys I love getting emails from you because we have a good, you know, relationship going back and forth. But, man, I get some crazy questions. Help me price my card, all this stuff. Hey, that's going to be a new service I charge this year. 
Ten dollars. You want me to research your card for you and give you a price? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Because that takes out of my time. You know, and it, some of that stuff's hard to because if you can't find a current year one, I gotta go research other years, find old sales that are no longer on eBay because it's been too long, then try to guess fluctuation in price. So yeah, that's a new thing I'm charging this year. Just let everybody know that if you send me an email about uh you know what's what do you think this is worth or can you help me price this it automatically it's ten dollar ten dollar <laughs> because i get people like i don't mind doing it once or twice for somebody but when i get this like from the same person four to five times a week it, it takes up a lot of time guys it's not that I'm mad angry or you know pick it on anybody out there but <clears throat> think about this if i have to spend five from one person four to five times a week we're just going to say i probably get about 20 emails a week asking me about a price of a card if i have to go research we'll say 10 minutes a card average because some are pretty quick some aren't that's a lot of time out throughout the week after you work a full day come in and have to put in time and effort into your own stuff you know trying to figure out who to invest in but uh yeah you'll see a little bit of changes in the stuff this year um especially with a lot of people that are like uh, giving out wrong information to everybody out there and it's just one of those things to where it really was like the thing that bugged me the most in my like back in my mind and stuff and a few of you i talked to understand and completely agree i know but giving out in wrong information new collectors you shouldn't be doing that out there man you're setting people up for failure you really 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 are especially if people say oh now it's time to buy morant no the time to buy Morant was last year at this time frame because Prism just come out. It came out today as Bowman Draft. So if you weren't buying Morant a year ago, you're late in the ballpark, especially if you don't have a big pocketbook, a big wallet. Um, it start concentrating on this stuff now, move forward, hit something big you don't want, go back and buy the card you want. I mean, I've preached this stuff for years. But... You know, you probably see a little bit of a change in some things and stuff like that there. Um, a lot of you guys, I mean, are great across the board and stuff like that. If you really are stuck on one, one out of five, something like that, no problem helping you guys out because you don't bug me all the time. But I get this is no joke. For the people that ask me this stuff a couple times a week, it, it, I'm going to start charging, man. It, 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 it's a service that I'm doing for people. And some people have taken advantage of it. So don't get upset when I say $10 and I'll tell you the price of the card or what I would guess the price of the card would be. And it's just due to the fact that I get, if I do that for everybody, I could like waste, I don't want to say waste my own personal time. Well, I guess it is my own personal time to where I'm trying to get other stuff done. Maybe I want to watch a TV show for once or catch a football game or got to get groceries, whatever it may be. Just relax time. Me, myself, away from baseball card time. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a little bit of changes on the stuff like that there. Uh, emails will still be responded to in the evening, stuff like that there. And if I don't respond to you today, it's because I had a ton of emails and I had to prioritize how I had to go through the emails. It wasn't enough time for me. So please don't get upset if I don't respond to emails exactly that day or within the hour, especially if it's during a weekday when I'm at my job. It's really hard for me to do that. So I've been pretty good responding back same days and stuff like that there. But, you know, uh, days that I'm off and off, if you want to look, go to Facebook website. Not my Facebook group, the actual business page. It has the business hours on there, and that's what I usually – We'll respond to stuff, and if you want to give me emails about baseball cards, show me your hits and stuff like that. Hey, I love it. I love seeing it. You tag me in your Instagram, cool. I'll give you a, whatever it is, a light, thumbs up, whatever it may be. But anyhow, I'll talk more on this stuff here on uh, Friday. But cool story of the day. Figured everybody would love how New Year started off. I'm one for one on Razzes. Open the box up. Boo! Yeah! Or I should I say... Woo! Because that's how the nature boy would do it right there. That's how he would do it. But other than that, everybody, hey, hope to see you guys Friday night. It probably won't be anything real big or long. 
If you guys need me to hold cards for next time, as long as you guys clear tabs out that night, I don't mind. I have a few things in stock. Hopefully the mail comes here a lot quicker. And let's roll into 2021 since we're already there with some good, good, good stuff. All right, everybody. Take care. Talk to y'all later.